describe two-dimensional shapes, we're going to talk about the attributes of shapes. This is Lesson 12.2. Some two-dimensional shapes have curves, and some only have straight lines, straight sides. We can sort these shapes into their correct group. So here we have a lot of shapes, and we're going to separate and sort them into curves or only straight lines. Let's start with the triangle here. It doesn't have any curves. It only has straight lines, so it's going to go here. The square, it only has straight sides, so it's also going to go here with the triangle. This is a semicircle. It has a curve, doesn't it? It does have a straight line, but it doesn't go with only straight sides because it has a side that curves. So a semicircle is going to go here. Here we have a hexagon. It only has straight sides, so it's going to go with the triangle and the square. Here we have a circle. It's one big curve, isn't it? So that's going to go with the semicircle right here. Here we have a trapezoid. It only has straight sides, so it's going to go here. And the rhombus only has straight sides, doesn't it? And the rectangle only has straight sides. See? So we can sort the shapes by how we can describe them. These have curves, these have only straight lines, and we can sort them that way. Some shapes have straight sides and vertices. Vertices are corners. A square has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has four vertices. One corner vertice, two, three, four. And trapezoid has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has four vertices, one, two, three, four, four corners. Rhombus has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has four corners, four vertices, one, two, three, four. A regular hexagon has six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it has six vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six. Triangle has three sides, one, two, three, and it has three vertices, one, two, three. A rectangle has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has four vertices, one, two, three, four, four corners, four vertices. Now, a regular hexagon is not the same thing as just a hexagon, because a hexagon is any shape with six sides. Did you know that that's a hexagon and that's a hexagon because they have six sides? It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So they are considered hexagons. But a regular hexagon has six sides that are all the same length. See? That's a regular hexagon, okay? We can write the name, the number of sides, and the number of vertices for each shape. This shape is a, do you know? It's a triangle. Whoops, I need a better marker. Let's try blue. I go through lots of markers each month. It has one, two, three sides, and it has one, two, three vertices. Do you remember what this one's called? That's a rhombus. It has one, 
two, three, four sides, and it has one, two, three, four corner vertices, doesn't it? You know what this one is, don't you? Well, if you said square, you're right. It's a square. It has one, two, three, four sides. And it has one, two, three, four vertices, four corners. Do you remember the name of this one? I bet some of you do. That's a trapezoid. In some countries, they call it a trapezium. Here in the U.S., we call it a trapezoid. It has one, two, three, four sides, and it has one, two, three, four corner vertices. This one's name is, do you know? Rectangle. It has four sides, and do you know how many vertices it has? One, two, three, four. And here we have hexagon. This is a regular hexagon, and we can call it hexagon. We don't have to call it regular hexagon. But that is exactly what it is because its six sides have all the same length, okay? But it is a hexagon. It has six sides and it has one, two, three, four, five, six corner vertices, okay? Those are the shape's attributes, how many sides and vertices it has. We can draw a picture to solve this riddle. I am a shape with four straight sides and four vertices. Hmm. We can look at what we just did and try to find four sides and four vertices, but it says they're four straight sides. It could be... A rhombus, a square, a trapezoid, a rectangle, but it says I have two long sides and two short sides. Well, trapezoid has a long side and a short side, but it doesn't have two of them. It would have to be rectangle. It's got four straight sides and four vertices, and it has two long sides and two short sides. This one says, I'm a shape with three sides and three vertices. So which one of these had three sides and three vertices? If you said triangle, you're right. It's got one, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices. We need to match the clues to the shapes. So let's read them all first so that we know what clues we have. Four sides all the same length, four vertices. One long side, one short side, four vertices. Six sides all the same length, six vertices. Three sides and three vertices. And two long sides and two short sides, four vertices. Do you see some that you could answer right away? How about six sides all the same length and six vertices? That would be the hexagon, wouldn't it? We could just draw a line going right up to that hexagon, couldn't we? Okay, what other one looks easy? How about three sides and three vertices? That's an easy one, isn't it? That's triangle.
Which shape has four sides that are all the same length and four vertices? Well, the only one that has sides that are all the same length would be square, because that has two long and two short. This has one long and one short. So four sides all the same length would be square. Okay? How about one long side, one short side, and four vertices? So we did these, so now we're coming down here. One long side and one short side and four vertices. Well, that would be trapezoid, wouldn't it? And the only one left that doesn't have a match is this one and the rectangle. Does it fit? Two long sides, two short sides, four vertices? Yes, it does fit. We found the match. Okay. We matched the shape with their attributes. Our next lesson, we're going to combine two-dimensional shapes. We're going to make new shapes. That's lesson 12.3. So you can get these colorful shapes from learning resources online. You can even you can buy it from the company or you can buy them on Amazon and you can make your own from construction paper or poster board or regular paper and color them and you can play with them and see what if you can name them and count their vertices. I'll see you next video. Have a great day. Bye.